gonna come to the next roundabout, Clifton's roundabout, following the sign for Catford. There's the sign, it says that I'm going ahead, second exit. I'm not sure which lane I should use, so I should always approach in the left just to be on the safe side, but if you know this junction, and if you can see that sign on the left there, it tells me that I can, I can go ahead in every single lane. Gonna stick to this one though, because by the time I exit in the second lane, I'll already be in the left-hand lane on that side. It keeps me nice and safe. Just studying what's happening on the right-hand side over there. There's a bit of movement over there, which suggests that there's not much coming from opposite, but now I can see some cars coming from opposite, which causes these vehicles to stop. And that's kind of what I'm trying to study. What are the vehicles opposite me doing to prevent them from moving? Like the big bus, look, stops them vehicles from moving. So at the same time, I'm looking forwards and backwards and forward and to the side. I'm not signaling on approach because I'm going straight ahead. Looking over to the right through this gap here, look, there's movement. So there must be nothing coming from opposite. I can see over there through the gap in the cars that there was a few vehicles there. So it's just trying to move yourself around a little bit. This van completely blocks my view. So I'm holding back a little bit. Bit of movement on the right again. A couple of vehicles coming from opposite over there. A couple of vehicles on my right can't see through the van so I'm not gonna go any further there you go there's a nice opportunity so just gonna follow the left hand lane all the way around just watching the vehicles on the left making sure they stop give a left indicator as I'm passing them off into the main road and again because I chose the left lane on the approach I've exited nice and safely in the left hand lane <laughs> 